I think we're looking for highly repetitive and unique locations, things with a lot of uh, vertical shapes coming out. We're looking for textures and patterns and geometry and uh, similarities between the built human landscape and the natural landscape. Shane with Octofilms. This is our S800 Evo that we're going to be attaching this 360 Hero mount with seven GoPros on this thing. Seven GoPro cameras designed in a panoramic uh, positioning. That way we're getting a full 360 angle. We have to go far. We have to go underneath this power line. Can you just circle around that and then go through it? It's like a circus. I swear. All right, with this little device here, we uh, pretty much have all seven of the cameras hooked up to one remote. So. First location we're going to shoot at coming up, just follow us. We're going to have a uh, X on the right, and then it'll be maybe two or three minutes off the main highway. Copy that, what's going on? This is all captured, I'm ready to go. Here we are in the underbrush. Take a look. All right. Any good? Right. Seven cameras are rolling. So is that a cut on day one? Two Ooh, Ross, cut one. on day one. Morning day two. Today we're going up along the PCH. It's good! <laughs> Ending up at uh, around Big Sur in San Francisco. We're getting one of our first over the ocean, actually our first over the ocean shot. We're trying to juggle being able to get over this and stay safe and keep the copter safe with getting what could be a really cool shot. That's awesome. It's gonna work. We got the bird, we got the seagull. Concerned, but it's uh, we're gonna try to get past it. Shade day two takes seven. This one's tough. There's that wind, you see it? All right, I'm getting out of there. Woo! I did not like that one, but that's good. That's how we're getting up there. So here. Up, over, and down. Okay, cool. Now we're more following it than jumping out in front of it. But keep in mind that that's probably not like a dry, snowflakey snow. I mean, I, I honestly think that if we get out of the rain, we can catch up to filming, is what I'm saying. So if we literally missed a day to drive, I think we could catch it up. Welcome to day three of Buka Shades Crossing Borders. We've hit a little bit of rain, so we're having to outfit ourselves with some new gear. So currently, we're trying to wait for this for the uh, moisture to burn off so we can get the octocopter in the air. Or, I'm sorry, the hexacopter. And we're putting a lot of trust in the Octafilm skies, and they're killing it. And yeah, we're getting out of our element and doing something new, and it's really exciting for all of us. I'm hoping the sun burns out this uh, there we go. cloud right here. It's our first shot of the day, and I think it's almost two. We've been trying to drive ahead of the storm all day. We've had rain to begin with, then strong winds. As you can expect, those aren't ideal for uh, copter flying. Definitely one of the more precise shots we've done. The objective today is that we're going to take off from this little spot here. We're going to go over the lake, probably about this height, and we're just going to run the creek. I won't be sharing mine, thank you very much. I think I'll just live vicariously through. We are now seven degrees from freezing. Over. The ones kind of in charge of mapping out our route. It's exciting to see new things, but that's also kind of posed the challenges. You can only see so much through Google Maps and satellite images, and it all kind of uh, changes a little bit once you actually get there. Wow! Avalanche blasting. 
apparently we are, uh, avalanches are in our vicinity and in season. I just noticed a lot more wind up there. You can see oh, the top of the okay. tree. Yeah, yeah. So we're about 8,000 yeah. feet yeah. above sea level. Conditions are windy, as it's kind of expected on the top of a ski resort. What will happen is the air is much thinner up here. So what we're expecting is uh, it'll need more power to take off. I just needed to get the feel of the copter at the higher altitudes. It's definitely a little less agile. All right, that should be a good height there. But uh, other than that, I think it was going to work. There's a little bit of give and take of us wanting to have our pilots push the limits as much as possible. They're on our side with that, but at the same time, they also have to protect their helicopter. So it's always a little bit of a dance of Ryan seeing how far he can get Shane to push his copter because we have a lot of trust in him. We're in day four. We are just coming from around Lake Tahoe, coming down to uh, Mono Lake, but we're getting out of our kind of high, high elevation, high wind uh, craziness in the mountains. We had a couple close calls with the copter, but our uh, talented pilot Shane was able to keep us away from any huge, huge disaster. So things are good. We got a lot of great footage and just marching on and shooting more. Today is day five. We are close to Mono Lake. It's known for its really cool photography spots and these structures that stick up out of the ground. They're called tufas. Part of what we've been battling is uh, the unpredictability of wind gusts and precipitation. But today we have found a break. And it's nice because this is one of our favorite spots. So we got a really sort of shadowy spot versus a really hot spot. What we'll be trying to do to compensate is waiting for these clouds to kind of just cover the sun enough for us to kind of equal things out. Right over you. Looking good, looking good. So this is Alabama Hills. We're waiting right now for this precipitation to die. It'll be worth it just because this is uh, probably one of the more unique locations we've come across. So I think if uh, we're able to fly through some of these things, you'll get some nice spire action. It's not actors or lights or power or location fees. It's wind and nature. We're at 4,500 feet up in the air right now. Part of the difficulty here is uh, just kind of being patient. So. We've had a really rough day so far. Things haven't been going our way. The wind sucked. We've had issues with some of our cards on our cameras. All right, take a look to your right here, camera guy. Wow. That's crazy. You want to fly over it? Yeah. Are you serious? Dude, it's too cool. We gotta get it. Yeah, dude, this is it's gonna be incredible. All right, so we just got we just got this tree shot that we've been looking for and talking about and trying to get for about six days now. Surprisingly hard with all of the uh, all the variables that we're dealing with. We definitely got that shot, and I think we're all pretty psyched now because things have been sucking a bit, and now things are not sucking. So we're continuing on. Uh, oh, sorry. Let's see it. Continuing on. All right, day seven, final day. We're here at the Salton Sea. We're about to get our first shot. It's kind of, I guess these are old old docks or an old marina. It's like to be on the last day. Got a lot of great footage. Gonna get even more today and finish this up well. The Imperial Sand Dunes located just east of Raleigh, uh, California, and a stone's throw from the Mexican border. Nuka Shade, day seven, take two. So we were at this, uh, looks like a palm farm, palm tree farm. Cochet, day seven, take three, palms.
Straight, crossing borders to another side. Mm-hmm. 